What's up everyone, Xamian's back with a brand new video today. We're going to be doing something different. We're going to be doing rants on this channel. And maybe some salutes. Rants are going to be like one of my hated shows and sometimes neutral and average. And my salute is going to be my most favorite shows and what I'm decent with. Today we're going to be talking about Caillou. More specifically, Caillou Seasons 1 through 3. Caillou, as I hear... That would be one of the worst shows ever. Worst Canadian shows ever. I heard that a lot. I hear it a lot. But more specifically, these people who have said it mostly watched these seasons. Mostly Viontards. <laughs> yeah. So... What about this character? What about this show? This involves a four-year-old named Caillou, his two-year-old sister Rosie, and his parents, whatnot. Uh, they go around various adventures and a curious world of Caillou. But um, that's not necessarily true. Some people say it involves a four-year-old brat named Caillou who gets away with everything. In any way. And never gets punished. Yeah, that's, that's what some people said. These are the characters. There's Caillou, Rosie, Leo, Clementine, Sarah, Gilbert, Mom, Dad, Grandma, and Grandpa. <laughs> you know. <laughs> the main characters. <laughs> but before we get to what Caillou became now, we need to focus on the late, the earlier seasons. And what better way to start off is to get to the gray-shirted Caillou. A.K.A. the classic Caillou. Now, some people say that this is classic Caillou and whatnot, but I just call him season one Caillou because it fits, and it's, you know, not as generic. So, Caillou from this season is whiny, selfish, jerk, also a spoiled, rotten brat. Who barely gets punished. Well, and and later on, he never really, really gets punished. But you know what I mean. He threw a tantrum over the circus, which we will get to next. He violently punches his sister, which we'll also get to. He locked his sister out of his room. He, um, he whines literally about everything. He even he even hated duckies because it's for babies, which is really not. He also used to hate dogs because doggies are scary. Obviously, they're not, but bang thankfully he got over that. <laughs> so there you go. Um. So, anyways, about the circus. He whined about the circus going tomorrow, and let the video speak for itself. <laughs> Look! I got dressed all by myself. Ah, I can see that. And you did a very good job. But it's so early. I don't want to be late for the circus. The circus? Oh no, Caillou, that's not today. The circus isn't till tomorrow. No, no, it's today. <laughs> I got all dressed. <laughs> it's today. Come on, Caillou. Come downstairs and help me make breakfast. No, no, I don't want to. in a very bad mood because he wasn't going to the circus. No shit, lady. He literally threw a tantrum over the circus being tomorrow. Not because of rain, not because of delay, not because one of the siblings got punished. It's tomorrow. And he literally got the date wrong on that. I don't know how, but it did. Thankfully, his dad scolded him for throwing a tantrum, but didn't really ground in him, at least. Or put him in a timeout as a suitable manner. And you think that was bad? Wait till you see the next clip. This is where his new baby sister was born. And Caillou got jealous because of the attention she's given. <laughs> hey. 
Maybe later. <laughs> okay, watch this, people. Now, you see, it was nice at first until... Rosie. You saw that? He literally violently pinched his sister. He was sadistic on that. He was sane on that. And not and worst of all, he got away with it. Like he usually does. And never got punished. Also, this was at his absolute worst. And Rosie's crying doesn't help either. It it was disturbingly realistic. It sounded disturbingly realistic. So you see why this show was hated? Well, at least for this season. I hated season one. It's the worst season ever of Caillou. Now let's move on to season two. Now this season's where Caillou changed his shirt from yellow to gray. Which is actually a really decent change since the gray shirt was pretty bland. But Caillou... Seemingly had some semi character development here. He's he's not as bright. He's not as violent, but he still is whiny, and still is unlikable. Now the only bad season two episode I can think of is Three's a Crowd, and probably Caillou's Promise. Three's a Crowd is where Caillou got tortured, not violently but verbally. His sister, I mean, no, not his sister. Uh, uh not his sister. Uh, his friends, Leo and Clementine, yelled at Caillou for ruining his sandcastle and broken the bucket, which is literally on accident. And worst of all, they never got punished. Caillou never told his mom till later, and even then, they never got punished by then. And not to mention that his friends never apologized to him. Uh, is, yeah, you may think it's not nothing but torture, but Caillou playing on himself by himself and fails counts as torture. There you go. At least they made up, but never apologized, nor that literally did not fix the problem at all. And Caillou's promise, Caillou was pretty mean to his sister Rosie on that episode. Not worse than Big Brother's Caillou, but definitely not good either. <laughs> He, in the circus incident, just like a mixture between Caillou's joint circus and Big Brother Caillou. He's mean to his sister and complains about the circus. He made up. He, his friends Jason and Jeffrey were going to the circus and wanted to bring Caillou along. They made a promise on that one. His dad told him that he can't go because he was mean to his sister. And then Caillou just cries because they promised. <sighs> I know breaking a promise is not good, but you can't promise something what you can't deliver. I think that's what this episode is trying to teach. Yeah, you think they have no educational value. They actually have morality. But this Caillou's not as bad as season one. But the next season... We're going to get to that now. Now, Caillou from season three... Not as bad. The buttons on his shirt change from red to yellow... He's actually pretty likable in this one, despite slowly becoming a Gary Stew, but not as much. And he still kept his flaws from the later seasons, but wasn't shown much. Except for the part where he whines about his timekeeper's clock as only one of the mentions. One of those. Also, I forgot to mention that his voice is actually really good, because it was voiced by Jacqueline Linzinski. Starting with season two to replace Brian McAudley, who voiced season one Caillou. Brian's voice was actually pretty decent when he's not whining, and Jacqueline's voice is actually really decent when when she's not doing the whining and whatnot and the crying. But season three is actually really de decent too, except for the part where it almost sounds like Caillou sounds like a girl. <laughs> That's in season three. I mean, his venom and voice, I can understand that. Yeah. But he still is spoiled. But, you know. And this is where the episode started to get bland. For Even for a preschool show, you gotta have good plots. Now, about overall on Caillou. 
Not the best show, but not as bad. But season one was god awful. It was the worst season ever. The only redeeming qualities I have to say is about the acting. Well, it is annoying and sometimes meh. It's actually pretty decent. And the episodes, like Caillou Makes Cookies, it's actually a really good one. I actually started this series on a high note too. But sadly, things started to go downhill when Caillou joined the circus came along. Or was it the Doctor episode that was... I mean, his crying voice started from the Doctor episode. Or was it after joins the circus? I'm not too sure. Um, there's also Caillou walks around... Well, let's get to the band episodes. Caillou walks around a block. He walked by himself. That's literally it, but that that was kind of dangerous, though. And the Big Brother Caillou episode was banned from PBS before it even aired. Caillou's Joint Circus was not until 2006. So, Caillou's not the best show. Not really. Not for these seasons, anyway. But another redeeming quality will have to be the puppet segments from PBS Kids. We got Teddy, Rexy, and Gilbert as their puppet selves. They actually had some good moments. Where it's actually pretty wise in the, in the segments. He's known... He's like a... Poetic, or whatever you call those. New poetry. I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll have to look that up. Um, there's also the Cadillac songs. That's also pretty good. And documentary kids footage... Yeah, really good, like, real-life kids. <laughs> That's kind of what it is. It says video documentary in the end credits, <laughs> so I had to say that. So, there you go. That's my opinion on these seasons of Caillou. Seasons 1, terrible. Season 2, bad. Season 3, not as bad. So, screw off these seasons. So, if you're thinking why Caillou's bald, he doesn't have cancer, it, adding him hair wouldn't be recognizable according to some research I've searched up. And there's also one reason that Caillou's also hated. It actually influenced children to become like him. He found them as a role model, Always throwing tantrums to get what they want. And that caused parents to ban Caillou. And also signed a petition to get him off the air. Speaking of which, we will get to that later. When we do seasons 4 and 5 in the next video. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this show, I respect your opinion on these seasons. And... Probably one of the others. I might do new adventures and the CGI reboot sometime in some later future and holiday movie as well. So thank you guys for watching and like this video, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all in the next video.